Hey guys, so I figured you'd probably want a video for me too. And it looks like the video is lagging. So if my mouth is not moving with my voice, sorry. It's been a weird day for technology. Weird week, weird month. Okay guys, so here's what we're doing today. So you're gonna watch the instructional video. You're doing it now, cool. Um, let's see. I would like you to complete the inference practice number three. Now, I had an interesting conversation with my uh, in-person kids today. So the past two days, we have done inferencing with visual cues, right? Now, remember, inferencing is taking information we see or we have read and then forming new information, right? So here's the problem that I have seen, right? Sometimes we're adding more to the information than we have evidence for. Please make sure when you make an inference, you have the information and evidence to back up that claim. So let's look at what we're doing today. Inference practice, who am I? Read pay, read, e whoo, excuse me. Read each passage below. Write who the person is in the passage and explain your answer. So we're trying to figure out who this person is, like what their occupation is, right? Or who they are in relation to someone. So let's read. I had finally gotten used to being weightless. It became a comfortable feeling. I especially liked floating by the window to see the planet Earth below. Okay. So who could this be? Who could this person like be? What could their job be? Well, let's see if we have any clues in the evidence, in the text. I had finally gotten used to being weightless. Well, so weightless. I mean, there's like those weightless chambers. You could be like uh, skydiving, like in one of those skydiving places, or you could be skydiving. Okay. Uh, you could be underwater because it's kind of been said you feel kind of weightless in water. Okay. It became a comfortable feeling. That doesn't really give us any more evidence. That just kind of supports what this said, right? Uh, I especially like floating by the window, okay, to see the planet Earth below. Oh. So they're not on the ground and they're not under the water. Maybe they're skydiving, but if they're skydiving, would they be near a window? What's that profession that they shoot up in the rocket and then they're in space? Oh, astronaut. Oh, they're an astronaut. Oh, okay. So notice how I went through and I took evidence, right? And I'm like, okay, we can't use this, but I can use this. That's what I want you to do going through each one of these, okay? All right, number two. Today, we are going to have some fun with drama. And uh, I keep putting this link to the Quizlet. Keep practicing elements of drama. It's really fun, okay? So instead of a quiz today, we're going to do a little something fun with the T-Rex from my cereal. So the script, let, let's start reading here. Place your finger on the screen. Let's read. The script of a drama tells how the stage should look, how the characters should move, what characters should say, and the emotions characters should express. Explaining these elements will help you understand a drama and how it compares to other types of narrative writing. Okay, so my turn. Go to the drama titled T-Rex for my cereal. It's what we read yesterday, or today, Wednesday, right? And look for the elements of drama in it. So a lot of you have gone through and highlighted, or at least like written down elements of drama you saw, right? So you're gonna list the elements down here below. Now, you can refer to the anchor chart on page 295 in your workbook. Or you can refer to the anchor chart that you made in your journal on Monday. And you're going to list a few of the elements of drama you found in T-Rex from my serial. Okay? So, number two, text evidence. Complete the diagram by explaining what you listed above and giving quotations as examples. Okay? So elements of a drama, the audience sees and hears. So you're going to show me 
uh, like right here, especially what we see in here. So if there's like bracketed, like uh, they're going to hear you sounding concerned, right? Okay. So you can show it there. You can show dialogue. Um, elements of this drama that are like story ele elements of another story. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. So elements of this drama that are like elements of another story. So maybe not even a drama, just another story. Or you can use the drama that we read on Monday, The Cold Camping, right? You could compare those two. And you're going to put your examples down here below, right? Doink, 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 doink. And then you're going to explain the structure of the T-Rex from my cereal and how it is similar to and different from the structure of Cinder, really. How's that structure differently? Remember, structure is the way it's presented, right? The way it's set up, the way the setting goes, the scenes go. So that is what you're doing today, okay? Promise. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I love doing these dramas. They're really fun. Um, so make sure you complete this. Um, if you have any questions, please jump on my Zoom. 9 to 11. Uh, for those of you who used to get on my Zoom almost every day, you know who you are, dude. Go ahead and start jumping on. I would love to see y'all again. Okay? Uh, if you're having trouble with writing, please jump on. I am so down to help y'all. You just have to let me. Okay? So after you're done, you're just going to complete that. You're done with reading. Move on to writing. All right, guys. If you have any questions, jump on my Zoom. Otherwise, go ahead and put... Um, Hmm. Put elephant in the private comments, please. That way I know you watch the video. All right, guys, have a great day. High five.